I'm pissed off, and I hit. Uh, ah! Oh my gosh, I'm pumped up, and I'm sick and tired of people screwing up something that they have going good because they think they need to build a freaking team. No, you are freaking bored out of your mind selling real estate, and that's okay. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to know that it's okay to be bored selling real estate, and if you're not bored selling real estate, you probably haven't been in it long enough. So here's what I wanna break down for you. You know what, you are better off doing 36 transactions a year, every single year, increase your freaking sales price by 10 to 25% every single year, do less work in less time, take that extra money and go build a business that you can freaking sell. Do you know how many agents I'm talking to right now that have gone and tried to build teams and they've screwed it all up, their income's down, their relationships suck, and quite frankly, 94% of you should not be building teams. Oh my gosh, if I had to have another freaking phone call about someone having a team shoved down their throat that it's the best idea and that, you know, think big. No, stop thinking big, think smart. Time on task over time. You know what, we're in such a now society, freaking stop. Be consistent. Have you heard the story tortoise versus the hare? Yes. You know what, do the math on this. 36 deals a year, increase, say, by 10% a year because you're being consistent with your database. There's a concept. You know what? Work on your database. Get that thing so freaking dialed in where you can trip over 36 deals a year, increase that price point 10 to 25% a year. Let's just say 10% a year. And do the math on doing that over the next 10 years. You know, and then don't increase your expenses. Meaning work on paying stuff off. Take that money and go invest in something, like a, a, a little Caesars franchise or something. There's a business you can sell. I am so sick of this. I'm gonna build my real estate business so it's something that I can go and sell. Show me how many people you know directly that have sold their real estate team. You know what, stop. Everybody's being shoved down the throat. You gotta think big. No, think consistent. Think about how can I maximize the profits? How can I take this money and go have it work for me? I bet you I get one to two phone calls a week of saying, Hank, I got this team, I'm doing all this business, yada, yada, yada. And I say, hey, what's your adjusted gross income? And they're all freaking broke. You know, think about whose agenda these people are pushing. Who's pushing you to think bigger? What are they getting out of it? What are they getting out of it? Think about it training other agents because anybody who's talent, they're gonna realize that they're paying you 50%. And if you aren't providing massive value, what's happening is all you're doing is training them for them to go out on their own. And if they are talent, they're gonna figure it out and they're gonna wanna go on their own and go do it on their own. In fact, I bet most of you are watching this run a team at some point. And then at some point you're like, why am I paying this person 50%? See, here's the thing is nobody else is saying this crap because they've got a big business behind you going and doing this for them. Now, here's the thing. This is what I love about my coaching. I have no freaking agenda whatsoever. Meaning that's why I'm at capacity. That's why I've been quiet lately because I have calls every hour on the hour helping people. Meaning I don't have an agenda that I'm pushing. There's no one pressuring you to be coaching with me. If you want out, you're out. I don't want to coach with you either. Meaning 30 days notice, you're out. That's why my schedule's full. Because I'm not pushing someone else's agenda. I want what's best for you. Am I anti-team? No, I'm not anti-team. I'm just anti-team for 94% of the people out there. You know, I got teams that are killing it. They're making a ton of money. Yet here's the thing, they've been doing it consistently. Building over time, they got an awesome foundation. See, some of you guys are spoiled brats and you're bored out of your mind, so you think, hey, I'm gonna go, go build this team. Well, you know what, is your foundation there? Are you looking at your PL every single month or not? Because if you're not looking at your PL every single month, don't go hire someone and screw it up. See, I have this saying where it's patience with a sense of urgency. Some of you don't have enough patience or you're doing a team because you want to fuck, uh, whoa, freaking lead generate yourself. My question is, what are you running from by looking to form a team? What are you running from? Because I bet what you're doing is you're running from something that you don't want to do. 
How about you suck it up, buttercup? You get your foundation so tight so every single year you do 36 transactions, you make a freaking buttload of money and you do that for five years straight. Get your systems in place so they are rocking and you have so many deals coming in that, that you, they're just overflowing. The challenge is you guys are barely making it as it is and you wanna go form a team. Oh, that sounds brilliant. Hey, let's go. Let's go do a team in another country, another state. Now, I get it. There's some of you that are killing it, that you're doing awesome with it. Great, you're part of the 6%. The other 94%, knock it off. You're not less because you only want to do 36 transactions. You're okay. You're not less because you want to work 20 hours a week and spend time with your family because you're not working 60, 70 hours a week to make the same amount of money. Everybody's saying that you got to grow this business. You know, I got to grow a business. Well, you know what? Hardly anybody's freaking selling their real estate team as a business 5, 10, 15 years from now. Are there the exceptions? Yes, there are. Yeah, do you know how many people I'm talking to that are calling me that are freaking broke because they've been convinced that growing a team and thinking big was the, the greatest thing ever? You know, what if you just what if you just let it all go and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna do 36 transactions a year. I'm gonna knock it out for those 36 clients, do a freaking phenomenal job, dial in my database, dial in my time management, and then increase it 10% every single year. 10% every single year. You do that math, I bet you have more freaking money than what you know what to do with. And the other thing is, keep your expenses down. See, a lot of people end up making more money and then they, they keep bringing on these expenses. Freaking stop this. Stop it. Stop spending money. In fact, look at your credit card statement from last month and go cancel everything that you absolutely don't have. Heck, even probably some of you should fire most of your coaches. My Lord, 36 transactions. Keep it simple, three deals a month. And look at uh, Moody. I mean, he's investing in real estate. That's something that you can sell. Invest in other businesses. I'm telling you, the majority of you are not going to be able to sell your real estate business for squat. Because you know why? People work with you. And again, I'm sure there's all sorts of people that are going to say, well, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I did it. You know what? You're part of the 6%. The other 94, stop freaking building a team. It's hurting you, it's hurting your family, and it's only benefiting everybody else that's slamming this down your throat. Whew! I'm kind of fired up. If you like what I'm throwing down, there's somebody in your list that needs to hear this. Like it, share it, do all that other stuff. My name is Coach Hank. I have nobody's agenda except for yours, and I'm freaking 